to tell the truth, that's why they lying on my name, on my soul I can't lose control, when y'all do the most, what's my hope? I can't lose my soul, I can't lose no more Alright y'all, what's going on guys, and today we're back with another banger video In today's video, as you can tell by the title, we have the sneaker collection. You guys have been wanting this for a minute now, especially since I've been getting Jordans 1 through 16, which we'll get to that, you know, we, we kind of completed it, kind of didn't, but it's okay, we'll get to that. We do have a lot of shoes to go through from numerous amounts of brands. I'm not somebody that's just like, oh, I only cop Jordans, I only cop Nikes. No, like I have literally Jordans, New Balances, Asics, Solomons, Reeboks, Pumas, just random brands in the back that don't even like that you probably wouldn't even know about. So I have a lot of variety, variety to go through, right? Is that the word? Variety. Variety. Something like that. I have a lot. I have a range of shoes basically to go through. So yeah, if you're new to the channel, make sure you take a second out of your day, hit that subscribe button because we post every other day, which is probably better than your favorite YouTuber, unless of course he's your favorite YouTuber. Now that the talking is out of the way, today when I'm posting this video is. My birthday! So I did promise you guys I would drop the birthday video would be the sneaker collection. So you'll get a birthday vlog, you know, probably in like a couple days or a week from now because, you know, yeah. But nonetheless, you do get this for my birthday. So my one birthday request is that you go to the Instagram right now at paul.souls whenever you're watching this and see if my fit picks are out for the birthday and go leave a like and comment and all that stuff. But I appreciate all the birthday wishes to come and let's just get into this. Okay, so... We're not gonna waste no time. We're gonna start off with this back row right here. We're gonna make our way up. We have the Jordans at the front and then it goes kind of back to some of my more favorite brands and this is the miscellaneous stuff. So let's start off with these two shoes right here. I have these two shoes from Adidas. Now, these ones are probably like, what even are those? This is a Ninja collab, Fortnite, you know, Ninja, when he was popping, he did get a collab with Adidas. I'm pretty sure he's still dropping stuff, I don't know. But Adidas did send these over to me, and I appreciate Adidas for sending these over. They didn't even tell me they were sending these over. Like, they did, a package just showed up at the crib. It said, Adidas said, oh, here's a little gift, da 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 So shout out to Adidas for sending these over. Then, this was the first shoe that Adidas ever sent me, or any sneaker brand ever sent me, and it was Adidas, so I'll always have love for Adidas. And these ones, they, I got them before they released. Like, it was like an early, they wanted me to take a fit pick in them, do a video on them, and yeah, so shout out to Adidas for sending these over early. And these are two sneakers I'm not gonna ever sell or anything, just for the simple fact that they were gifted to me from Adidas. We get into my Merle section. I actually really do like Merle. Um, these ones right here, I did do a custom on recently. Me and Amanda, we painted some jeans from Walmart, and in that video, I was like, you know what? I really wanna do something to these, because it is an all canvas, like clog type shoe, mule type shoe and i just really wanted to do like this flower print all over it and i thought it just looked really good so i made a tiktok on it made a youtube video on it you can go check those videos out if you want then i'm not gonna there's a couple of shoes that i can't talk too much about because the video is actually coming out after this video but we did go thrifting and i don't want to spoil it but just know another merle okay that's all i'm gonna say just another merle i'm not gonna say anything about the prices or anything just know that drift for drift is coming soon and it's good and in my opinion, better than the Salehi Crocs, better than any type of Croc, better than the Foam Runners. We got the Murrows right here. I love these a lot. Um, I had two pairs in them. I had to sell the other ones because I got them in a size 10 and they were just a little bit too big. So I wound up going with the nine. If you are going to get a pair of these, you have to go like up the size down because there's only full sizes. So don't get your true size. Go that size down. If you're a nine and a half, 10, get a nine. That's all I can tell you because they fit huge, so yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna show, I have like a bunch of slides and other clogs in the closet, but I didn't feel like I needed to put them in the sneaker collection, but I did put these two in just because I thought they were cool. Um, these ones are from Keen, which is like another outdoorsy brand. It's got like this flower print all over it, and a lot of you guys really love these every time I show them. And then this one right here is from Imran Potato. Um, I've had a few of his things, like the shoes, like the feet shoes. I've had um, the lobsters. I've had a bunch of different things. So this one is the one that has stuck with me the whole time, though. I've had this for almost probably more than a year now. I got these last summer, and one of my favorite slides, honestly, I wore these to the beach when I went to Florida. I wear these all the time. And for a video, we did get a pair of Heelys. So I'm not going to talk too much about them, but I've never had a pair of Heelys my whole childhood. So when you get money, this is what you do. <laughs> you buy a pair of Heelys. This right here is what... Um, I made, I made this in class, in case you don't know, I do go to um, sneaker design, that is my major in college, I go to FIT, and this is a sneaker that I made last semester, I wanna say, I've made a couple of shoes, I don't have them all, but this one I can actually wear, and like, it's my size, and I made a pair of, because before we were just making one side, so I made a pair of shoes, I made another pair, which we'll get to, but I made a pair of shoes, my own original design, and I like them, they're cool. The material choice is just different, like, I don't know, it was just free material, so I did what I could with what I had. Now we're getting into the second row. 
we got one, two, three, four, five more rows to go through. So let's get into it. This right here, again, I'm not gonna talk too much. Thrift for drip, you'll see it soon. Just know we are gonna be doing a restoration on these though. For sure, we're gonna be doing a restoration. And you know what, I'll say it just for the sneaker collection for the people that watch it, we got these for a dollar. So yeah, that's all I'm saying. I'm gonna get into the Puma section. This right here is the Puma RSX. You guys love these every time. I remember when I got these last year, like we were calling these the poll. We were spamming in Puma's Instagram comment section. We were like, sponsor poll, sponsor poll. So Puma, hit me up. Like I'm still trying to work with y'all. I mess with y'all a lot. And yeah, this is one of my favorite um, like shoes that I own. Like I wear these all the time. I used to wear these, oh my God, I wear these religiously. I haven't worn them in a minute, but just know these things have seen better days. Next, we got the Kid Super Pumas. Um, I really do love Kid Super and everything that he does. Like, his shoes are just fire. He's coming out with some boots, I think, soon, and they're actually really tough. So, yeah, Kid Super is a fire designer, and I think he brings out the best with the Puma collabs. So, yeah, I like this one a lot. And finishing off the Pumas, we got to go with a classic model. We do have the Puma suede right here with the thick white laces. Can't really go wrong. Black, black and white shoe with everything then another sneaker that a company sent me this was like my first like big deal like bro they paid me a reebok paid a bag so shout out to reebok but this was like my first ever big deal i did this almost two years ago now and they just wanted me to post a picture now on instagram they didn't even want a video or nothing they just hit me up they said yo we'll give you x y and z this much money and just post a video in it i mean post a photo in it and just wear the shoes and I was like bet you don't gotta tell me twice you couldn't need this so they sent me these for free I really do appreciate it I got the big box with it and everything like that like the care package box another pair of Reeboks that I have it's actually the same model but totally unrelated I actually worked with Reebok to make this shoe um they came to FIT and certain kids were picked and I was one of the kids and we were able to do a sneaker workshop and we made shoes. So yeah, we, they gave us this model, they gave us material, and they gave us the patterns, and we just had to make the shoes. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I made, I based this one off of Sasuke, and I wore it to anime con too. Like I could wear these are fully functioning shoes. Like these things are actually, I actually really mess with this. Like this is a material choice, is fire on these. Um, it's not my best stitch work, but we only had three days to do it, so we kind of had to rush it. And yeah, but nonetheless, it's cool to have my own Reebok, technically. This right here, I don't even know what these are. They, these have just stuck with me though. They're like some old Reebok pumps. I'm pretty sure they're from like the 90s. They're very, very old. The pump don't even work on the back. They're just ugly and I love them. Like they're fire, they're ugly fire. So yeah, it's like a kid. Like if you have a kid, you still gotta love it even though it's ugly, you know, right? No. No? No. You're not gonna love it oh, it's ugly? Yeah. Wow, now you can't so okay. This one right here is from No Two Ways. Um, they sent these over and I really do appreciate them. We're actually gonna do a custom on them very soon. Uh, probably in August we'll do it. And we're gonna like dye them either, are we gonna do coffee? Yeah, we're gonna do the coffee greens because it ages greens. it. Okay, so we're gonna do the coffee greens with this. So you'll definitely see a video with TikTok on that, all that stuff. So yeah, but these are definitely dope. Shout out to No Two Ways for sending these over. Next, another, you know, like random shoe that I have. This is from Sample Industries. It's basically their take on an Air Force One where they just put SMPL all on the side of it. And I love these shoes. I don't have, I actually got rid of my white Air Forces. And so these are my white Air Forces. These are what we're using. We're using these as ups now. So yeah, it says one of a few on the back and sample on the side. Surprisingly, I only have one pair of Nikes and it's these ones right here. And I'm not gonna lie, these might be top five shoes in my collection. Like for me, like at least I wear these the most. Like I put these, how much do I wear these? Um, at least twice a week. At least twice a week, right? Like these, and I got these beat. Like I bought these for $80 from my job at District 1, shot at District 1. And I bought these for $80 and they were cooked. Like they were already yellowed this, but they look so good like this. Like, I don't know, something about that. Like not, they're not aged, but like they look aged and they just look good. Like I saw a clean pair the other day. Like somebody had them on, they were all white and like they were clean. And I was like, they don't look good. Like they look good like this. Like I like the way that they're beat. And like, so I just wear them. I just beat them even more and they just look really good. Next, we got a random pair of Solomons right here. I really do love Solomon. And one day I really want to go back and just cop all their old like boots and just old models that they have. And this is one of them. And funny thing is I actually bought this, right? Never seen a thing about it. Like nobody's ever seen these. I kid you not, the week later, there's a company doing a collab on this model. They're bringing it back now. After I bought it, I was like, okay. Not that I, I'm not saying I influenced it at all. I'm just saying it's funny how I bought it. And then literally a week later, they're gonna bring it up because this is something that I got off of eBay for like $20. So yeah, it's just an old pair of Solomon. Like literally you could see right through, like you can see your foot. I don't even know what to call. I don't even know what the model name is to be honest. I forgot it. 
Next, we got my two pairs of Solomons. These, I'm gonna count them as one shoe um, for the simple fact that they're top five in my collection as well. So those Nikes, these are definitely up there, but they're gonna take up one spot. So I don't wanna like, use like them as like two different shoes, but Solomon XT6, literally one of my favorite sneaker models in general. Like I just love the way that they look. And this one especially, like this cream pair is definitely tough, but I also love the gray. Now I do wanna get at least one more XT6. Um, and I want to get like a darker colorway so that way I could wear it out, you know, a little bit more. Because these get warm. How much I wear these? I wear these ones a lot too. Mm hmm. The same amount as the uh, Nike ones. Yeah, same amount. Like these are one of my go to sneakers. I just love the way that they fit, the comfort, just everything about them. And the thing is, like, I know the Salomon hype is kind of going up or it has gone up over the past year, but I've had this for, I want to say, it's about to be three years I've had this sneaker. I got this off on Black Friday from, I think it was, um, Sense, which is like an oh no far far fetch i got it from far fetch on black friday like two years ago three years ago back in 2020 i want to say so yeah I, I just know i've i've been rocking with them i've been rocking with them now we're gonna get into my a6 section i have three pairs of a6 so these ones right here boom vivian westwood with the net on them this is another sneaker i got it actually same time as the solomons i ordered them both for black friday um I got those, the cream Solomons and these in the same package. I got these on sale, 220 Now they're like four or $500. So, yeah, and everybody always asks, oh, where can I get them? Where can I get them? Like, bro, these were literally on sale. Because retail on these was high, I'm not going to lie. I think retail was 300 Yeah, but I didn't, I didn't pay that. But they still, I think it was one of my favorite shoes, too. <laughs> I like right? those. Yeah. I feel like in small feet, they would look so cute. Yeah, and I, ever since I saw the picture, I think it was... Was it ASAP Nast? I don't know who did it, but he put money in the front. And ever since that picture, like, I just wanted them. And, yeah, they're tough. I actually want the black pair now. Now that, like, I've seen the, like, now that I have these and I see how much I wear them and how cool they look on foot, I really want the black pair. Oh, so again, different jib coming soon. I don't want to spoil it too much, but just know that's all I'm going to say. Okay? Different jib coming soon. Next, this right here is the ASIC Gel um, Cayeno 14s. Again, another sneaker that I wear religiously. These, the Salomon, and then those the Nike, the Cold Wall collab ones. Those three sneakers get worn the most, I think, out of all my shoes, right? Yeah, you, you even took those with you to Florida. Yeah, I took these with me to Florida. I wore them all week, but I've been wearing these since, like, I got these at Kith last summer. And I just, yeah, Asics are so tough. There's another pair of Asics that I really want at Kith, so stay tuned for the um, for the birthday vlog, because I might, I might have to cop those. Next, we are going to get into the New Balance section. Now, I thought I had a little bit more New Balances. I guess not. I only got four pairs. Um, I think it's because I sold, did I sell a pair? The Kiwi. I sold the Kiwi ones that I had, the Concepts collab. So I guess I had five pairs, but we're down to four pairs of New Balances. These New Balances right here, the 550s. Now, I don't really like 550s like that. I really want the 650s, which are the high top pair. And um, these ones, though, I'll accept because me and Eric actually have matching pairs. So got the blue, got the red, and then we swapped. So I have one left red, one right blue. He has right red, left blue. You get the point. We just, <laughs> we just switched the sides of the shoes. So they don't come like this, red and blue. So me and Eric will have these. And I just got to keep them for that simple fact that me and my, you know, me and my best friend, we got, we got some matching shoes. And right here, one of my favorite New Balances, like, I... I love these. They're not nine. You don't show them that much appreciation. I did. I, are you dumb? I wear them all the time. No, in the fall, yeah. These are, no, in the fall though. These are gonna get worn like mm -hmm. more than probably any shoe because I just love the way that these. First of all, I love the way that they fit. Second of all, I love the way that they look with any type of pants. Third, the colorway is crazy. The beef and broccoli. Four, they're comfortable. So yeah, I really mess with these. The nine nine threes. And yeah, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the collab name. I still can't say that brand. Ame, Leon, Dior. I, don't ask me. Um, another shoe that I have, another New Balance, this is the Salehi Benbury pair. And I like them. They're not bad. It's just they're very loud. Like, this is a very loud shoe. And I don't really know what to wear with them that much. But I try to wear them here and there. Um, I really like the other pair that they came out with. I don't know. It's like the other colorway of this, but it goes for a little bit more. But this pair will do for now. So, yeah. But this might be a sneaker I let go eventually. But still, it's, it, is, it is a tough shoe regardless. I love the material choice. I love... I mean, I, I love the colorway, even though I said I can't wear it with anything. It's still nice to look at. Like, I like the way that they look. But wearing-wise, I just barely wear them. Then, me and Babe have matching ones of these. I bought us these for one of our, like, anniversary things. And, yeah, this is really cool. She sent me these on Instagram. This is a random new balance. A lot of people ask me about these when I wear them and show them. She sent me a post on Instagram. And, like, it was just somebody holding them. Like, I had no caption, no nothing. Like, there was nothing written about the shoe at all. Like, I didn't even know what they were. All I saw was the 990. 
I go on eBay, I'm searching, I'm searching, I'm searching, I find her size. I'm searching, I'm searching, I'm searching, I find my size. Ordered them right away. And I got it for cheap, I think it's like $60. $60 for this pair. I don't know how much I paid. I think I paid the same for hers too. Yeah, mine were brand new. You were yeah, used. hers were brand new though. Mine, mine were used. But yeah, this pair is definitely tough and everybody asks me. I had to get these in women's sizes because apparently it is a women's colorway. But bro, I got these in 11 women's and these are beautiful. I love this shoe. I wear this a lot too. Hey, we've made it through all of the non-Jordan shoes. So we have Jordans going all throughout the next three rows. So I'm not going to waste no time. We're just gonna get into it. I'm gonna speed run it real quick. Um, talk about some of my favorites and let's get into it. So, if you guys have been watching the vlogs and watching pretty much anything over the past four to five months, I wanna say, um, it's something I've always wanted to do. I've actually done it once before, but I only went up to Jordan's 14. So basically what I'm talking about is, I wanted to get Jordan's one through 16. I wanted to get at least one pair of each, or one colorway of each model, I should say. And I just wanted to have one through 16 because I really want to, you know, put on my wall. We're going to get a shelf over there. So you guys will see that in a vlog as well. That's why you guys stay tuned. But I really just want to see like one through 16, like just there, like on my wall. Like that's always been like a dream of mine. And I've done it before, but once I did it, I sold them all and I bought a pair of Jordan 1 UNC Off-Whites. But this time they're here to stay. And we are going to start off with the 16s and the 15s. So yes, I actually went up to 16 for this. Um, I didn't stop at 14 because I actually do like some of the 16s and 15s. This one right here, I got for $40 from District 1. So yeah, I actually like these. They're cool. These are these ones are old though. These are from like 2009. So I don't really know how much wear I could get out of these ones. But it was just a nice little pickup from for to complete my 16 collection, I should say. This one right here though, I wear a lot. I like these. Uh, I got these. These are kind of more expensive. I'm pretty sure these were like 120 or something like that. But these are some pair of Jordan 15s. Now there's actually another pair of Jordan 15s I really do want. And it's the Billie Eilish collab. Those ones are so tough. Like I know 15s or whatever, not a lot of people like them, but I think it's a cool design. I like the way they look. They're like a sock, but like, I don't even know how to explain it. They just look like moon boots, but like, they're just cool. I, I like the model a lot. I like weird different like models and like the, this just looks tough. This whole like slope that had, goes down the side of the shoe and like how it's so high up from the sole, like it's just it's just a tough shoe. So yeah, Jordan 15s definitely um, an underrated model. Getting into the Jordan 14s and Jordan 13s, we do have the Alehi May collab. Honestly, in my opinion, the Jordan 14, like the low pairs of the Jordan 14s, are the best Jordan 14s. They just kill every colorway with the Jordan 14 low, and this one especially like this this like cream with that emerald type green with little accents of gold and she kills every collab she does i'm not gonna lie like i have not seen a bad shoe from her so yeah respect to her for doing her thing and these ones are definitely tough these right here i'm not gonna lie these might be one of my favorite jordans i own i love the olive nines but i don't know why i just love the way the olive 13s look a little bit more which is crazy to say because everybody loves the olive nines but these on foot, I'm just thinking, I guess, fall, winter time, I just know these are gonna get worn like two times a week for me. They just feel like such like a, cause Jordan 13s are already bulky and fat and like the tongue is so padded and the ankle's so padded, they just feel like boots already. So when you put this colorway on it, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go crazy. Next, we do have a pair of 12s. These are the Taxi 12s, not that much to say, very classic shoe. I personally don't like 12s that much, but if I am gonna get a Jordan 12, it had to be. I feel like this is the best Jordan 12 colorway. There's probably like a two, maybe two more colorways I would get. Maybe like the flu games or like, I don't really know. I can't, that's how much I don't really like 12s because I don't, it's whatever. But these ones, tough. Then, same thing with the 11s. It's not that I don't like 11s. It's just, am I going to wear 11s? Because obviously I could could have just bought Jordans 1 through 16 and just like hold it a day. But I wanted to get stuff that I would actually wear and make fits with. So I feel like out of all the 11s and my state of what I like to wear and what I dress as and what like, I'm just feeling. Um, I feel like the breads were the best option because it is just black and red and it's not too crazy. I didn't really want any more white leather Jordans. That's another thing because I had so many just white Jordans, which you'll see, at least for the lower numbers, a lot of white Jordans. But when I was making my way up the list, I was like, all right, I need to start getting some, you know, darker toned shoes. So I feel like these are definitely perfect. And honestly, probably the best Jordan 11. What do you think the best Jordan 11 is? Mm, those yeah. yeah gotta be those i think these space jams yeah i was about to say those are space jams or the legend blue legend blue actually you know what my favorite jordan 11 is the that blue, one the that with the ones. purple no the pantone ones the all unc blue ones oh okay those those nostalgic wise are my favorite 11s as i said at the start of the video 
I really wanted to get to room 1 through 16, but there's one number I couldn't get in time. And as I just said, I didn't want to just buy a shoe just to buy it. I wanted to actually be able to wear it. It's something that I would wear multiple times, not just once. Because I did that a lot with my past collections and past shoes that I buy. So now when I buy stuff, I think long term. I'm like, I'm going to wear this, I'm going to wear this, I'm going to wear this. And this is no 10s that came across. So I wasn't able to get a Jordan 10 in time for, my, for this video, obviously. But I will get a Jordan 10. I'm not planning on not getting one. I will get one, so you guys will see that. You'll probably see like a video titled like, I completed my Jordan collection, pick up vlog, ah, uh, but I'm just waiting for the right 10 to come in. I either want the Seattle 10s, the Dornbeckers, or honestly, that's about it. I really don't care for 10s like that. There's not that many nice colorways in my opinion, or they all look the same at least. Um, and that's why I like the Seattles, because they have that little hint of green. So that'll probably be the 10 I pick up, but I just gotta wait for them. To, to cross my eye and I can cop them. So, but making our way down the list, we do have the Jordan 9s. These ones right here, the photo blue 9s. Now, I like these because of, if you guys don't know, the black and white sole, the mismatch that happened in the labs and the factories, whatever happened. I don't know what happened. But these ones are B grade because of that black sole. They were supposed to release with a white sole, but the black looks better. Now, we're going to go into the 8, 7s, and 6s. Ready? Mm -hmm. So, a lot of the Jordans I just showed you guys were very recent pickups. If you've been watching the vlogs, most of them, besides the, the 14s and 15s, the, all the other ones were pretty much like over the past month. Like, I went crazy the past month with the Jordan pickups, as you guys saw in the vlogs. But this Jordan 8, I've actually had for a while. Um, it came into the job, I want to say back in December, I got these, or January. It might have been January, because we had the Christmas, we have this Christmas tree at District 1, and we used to put all the sneaker steals around it. And I remember one day, I saw these, and they were just sitting there, and they sat there for like two days. And I'm looking at them, I'm like, these are tough. Like, I would wear these. Like, I haven't had a pair of eights since middle school. I was like, I really want a pair of eights. So, I got a pair of Phoenix Suns eights. I really do like this colorway a lot, and it's just something you don't see a lot. And it's just cool, I like the orange with the purple. And I think Nostalgia kind of took over when I bought these, but I still wear them like that. Next, we got another pair that I had back in middle school. It was the Jordan 7 French Blue Columbia, whatever you want to call them. They're just tough, that's all I gotta say. Uh, one of my most nostalgic sneakers, again, had these in middle school, so it was only right that I got these for my sevens. Next, we got two pairs of sixes. These ones right here, Carmine's. Again, middle school, me wanted these so bad and I wasn't able to get them just for obvious reasons I was in middle school and I barely had any shoes like that, like like this I should say. Um, I was just basically selling shoes with my friends, trading shoes with my friends, $40 steals here and there. We would trade each other's shoes. I would come home from school with different pairs of shoes. My mom would yell at me, but I never was able to get these. No matter how much I wanted them, I couldn't get them. So when these came in, at my job, I was like, I need these. I got them for like 150 I think. And they were pretty much brand new when I got them. I've worn them a lot, though. Like, I wear these a lot. Which is surprising, because I didn't think I was going to wear sixes a lot, because they're kind of a little bit more wider and bulkier. But I like them. Another six we have is the Olympic six. Now, I got these for free. And I am going to just clean these up and make them look good. So I'm going to clean these up eventually. It might be a TikTok. It might be a regular video. Who knows? But these will get the love treatment. These will come back to life. So getting into the Jordan 5. Now, five Jordan 5s are actually my favorite Jordan model, um, at least top three. My favorite model is ones, twos, and fives. Those are the top three. So these ones came out, the Jade Horizons. These are a little bit more recent. Me and my girlfriend do have these. So yeah, we hit these on Nike sneakers. And um, it just reminded me of like the 2006 era of fives, which in my opinion is the best era of fives. And there's so many good colorways. And these ones got slept on. So I highly, highly recommend these. Get these now because these just look so good on foot. Then two very similar fives, again, as I was saying with the white leather, it's just so many white leather shoes, but again, Stealths, 2006 era of the Jordan 5, and then this one right here, the white metallics, I really want the black metallics, but we have the white metallics for now, and I put in some cream laces, I'm pretty sure I got these for like $60, so yeah, and I put in cream laces, and they just look good, they, look, they actually look really good, damn, I kind of want to wear these right now. How am I doing? Getting into the fours and threes, we do have the alternate 89 fours, now I've had these for like... Oh my god, I don't even know how long I've had these for. I've had these for like two, almost three years, I want to say. And these are cooked. These are my beaters. I wear these all the time. This, again, just like just like these, just like the Solomons. These get worn <laughs> once to twice a week. Um, it's just like my go-to Jordan. I don't know why. I guess it's just I like the way that fours look on my feet. I like the way how they fit. And just this white and red, I just wear with everything. So I should, I should really get some more fours. But I tried to get bread fours once. <laughs> Next, we got a pair of Jordan 3 white cements. Now, I really wanted the black cements, but they just didn't come. They haven't came in 
since I've been saying I want them. So the white cements came in, and the only reason I got the white cements is because I didn't want to get any more white leather Jordans. I didn't. But you know, white cements tough, beautiful, like they're one of the best Jordans of all time. Hundred and ten dollars. Hundred and ten dollars for these. It does have the jump in on the back, so it is the 2011 release. Um, the paint is starting to chip on the side, but bro, 110 dollars. I'm not gonna complain for some. You paid 100 dollars for your black cements. Yeah, literally. I paid 110 dollars for my white cements. We got one more row. We got the twos and ones row. The twos take up the whole row. The twos take up the whole row, and then we got two pairs of ones. So, should we, should we get into it? Mm -hmm. Finish this sneaker collection off. Let's do it. Let's go. <sighs> we have our last row. As you can see, we got Jordan's 1s and Jordan 2s. Now, I know recently the 2s hype has been going crazy and um, they've been bringing back 2s and all that stuff, but I've had Jordan 2s since I was in sixth grade. It's, as I said, literally one of my favorite Jordan models, regardless of what's going on right now, because you guys go back to literally any of my old videos. I've been rocking with 2s and all that stuff. And this pair right here, I'm just gonna start off with this one. This pair right here was my first retro ever, um, at least that I could remember and like I appreciated and like I was really hyped for. Like my grandma bought these for me for Christmas and she put them under her bed. And every day when I came home from school, I would go in her room and I would pull, pull them out of the box and I would sit there until she got home and I would just look at them. I would just look at them at the box and I was like, damn, I was like a size six. And I would just look at them. I was like, I still have the pair. They're at my um, mom's house. And yeah, so I had to get a pair that was in my size. And I just love twos ever since. No matter how many people might hate on them or not like them, whatever, I think Jordan twos are tough. So I do have a few pairs of them to go through, and I'm very happy that they're bringing out twos again and they're showing love to them and they're bringing fire colorways, which we'll get to. But let's start off with the older colorways. But these right here, um, probably one of my favorite sneakers in my collection. It is the Jordan two low, um, University blue. The there's like three names for these, but just know. I love the two lows. I like two lows a little bit better than the highs. They just look a little bit better on foot, in my opinion. And this colorway is tough. I really want the ones with the navy midsole, but those ones are just so old. I don't really want to buy a pair because they're just going to crack on me. And I kind of feel like Jordan Brand is going to bring them out since they're showing love to the twos. They're already bringing out the OG twos, which I'm going to go for those for sure. And yeah, just really like these two lows. This right here is a pair of twos I got for free. I still can't decide what I want to do with them. Um, it's not like the best colorway, honestly, but it is just a black and red two. And let me know if you guys have any ideas that I should do to these. Like, should I just change the laces? Should I do like a custom on them? Should I do something? Because the black and red, I feel like I'm never really going to wear them like that because I just have other all black and red Jordans. But yeah, Jordan two, should I cut it? Should I make it a low? Let me know. Then one of the best twos, honestly, is the candy pack. There was a couple colorways. There was this blue, this red, the green, the yellow. Um, there, were, there might have been a few more, but all I remember is that the blue is the best. And I remember looking at the blue when I really wanted the blue. It's so old that it even has the Jordan on the back. It doesn't even have the um, Nike. And yeah, this one is from 2010. So I don't really wear them like that. I've taken a fit pick in them before, but I'm kind of scared to like wear them. But wear your shoes. Make sure you wear your shoes. I feel like I can still wear them though because I did wear them not too long ago. But I don't know. It's starting to feel a little bit soft. So I'm trying to be trying to be more careful with these. But I might put them on one day at work and just see what happens. So maybe I'll vlog it just in case. Next, these ones I like a little bit more. I'm not going to lie. Out of all the regular twos, not talking about the collabs I have. Out of all the regular twos, this might be my favorite. Uh, the Mellow twos, very tough. I, this is my favorite color. UNC blue, baby blue, whatever you want to call it. And the hint with the yellow just looks really 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 good in that all white upper and the blue late like i don't know i really love these so yeah i got these the same times i got those 15s i bought them at the same time and just honestly one of my favorite shoes i own now we got four more shoes to go through two of them are twos two of them are ones these two twos <laughs> these two twos these two twos are very very recent <laughs> very recent um i got these right here the union twos i need the blue hair I'm still on the hunt for the blue pair. I'm waiting for a used pair to come into my job at District 1. I got these for 175. 175, they were worn once. I've worn them like 40 times since, but when I got them, they were brand new. And in person, these are just beautiful. I love the way they look. Like they're so like, I don't want to say it, but they look aesthetically pleasing. Like, I don't know, something about like the cream and like these like holes that they put in these little like, I don't know what they did with this, but it's cool. I like them, the tongue is different. I like the way the tongue is. So very very good pair and i really do want that blue pair then 
my most recent sneaker pickup. If you didn't see the vlog, it probably came out right before this video. It is the off-white Jordan 2s. Obviously, I do want the white and red pair. It is something I plan on getting in the future. Just not right now because those are like $1,000. Um, but these ones, I got for a steal as well. What I pay for these? What is it? $240? $250, $240, yeah. $240 for these. Off-white 2s. Virgil's last shoe before he went. Um, and these are just tough. I like the yellow. I'm gonna put in the other color laces it comes with, but yeah, Instagram photos out now. I pulled out, so let's go like the Instagram. My last two shoes, which I know I said it a lot throughout this video, but you could count how many. I'm pretty sure I only said five were my favorite shoes. Pretty sure. But these two right here count as one, and these are my number one spot. These are my favorite shoes I own. Like, if I had to get rid of all my shoes and just keep one pair of shoes, it would be these. It is the Jordan 185 cut. Now, I love these sneakers. I love Jordan 1 is my favorite model, um, but the kind of the Jordan 1 hype kind of ruined it for me. But when they brought out the 85, it kind of brought it back because I really, my dream shoe of all time is the Jordan 185 UNC. So when they were bringing out the 85 shape again with the neutral grays, I was like, need those. This is my favorite shoe. I like these a little bit more than the Georgetowns. I wear these all the time. They just look so good on foot. The shape of these looks so much better. And then same thing with the Georgetowns. When they brought up the Georgetowns, I was like, yep, need those. So any 85 they bring out, your boy will be copping. They're coming out with a black and white one next year. I will be copping. The only other Jordan one I will cop though is the Chicago's. I know it's not 85 shape technically, but I will get those because it's a pair of Chicago's. All right, y'all. That's pretty much it for today. I hope you guys did enjoy. Shout out to Amanda for recording this because this is a long video. And um, yeah, comment down below what you guys think is your favorite shoe in my collection. As I said, my favorite is either one of the Jordan 185s, probably the neutral grays a little bit more. But after that, it's got to be either the off-white twos or the union twos because those just, they just look so tough. So anyway, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Leave a like on this video because this video is going to take a while. It took a while to record, a while to set up. It's going to take a while to edit. So leave a like on this video. Go follow the Instagram at Paul Souls. Go spam those birthday photos and got anything to say? No. No? No. Yeah. Love you guys. Stay safe. Thank you for the birthday wishes and we out. <laughs> I wanna run up the money in love with the music I do it with passion yeah. You see me thumbing through hundreds for all this designer in love with the fashion yeah. I'm a